Hello, my beautiful beauties and my wonderful lovelies. A pleasant evening to you. My beautiful people, I notice a trend these days. Ever since the great and venerable Bishop T.D. Jakes preached a message in fairly recent times that women are now being trained as men. They're taking on masculinity and taking on masculine roles and not allowing the men, you know, to be men by and large. And he made some salient points in that particular message, you know, um, and I don't think he necessarily picked on a specific group, but he's speaking on what he has been seen. And also perhaps in his counseling ses sessions, I say perhaps he didn't mention that um, probably husbands would complain about, you know, their wives taking on masculine roles. It may not be even in his counseling sessions. It could be men just coming to him or he's been doing some reading. It can be a number of ways he has got the information but or something that he has noticed. And boy, ever since he preached that message, the guns came blazing. All of a sudden, a number of prophetesses and prophets coming out to say how he has backslidden. He has strayed from the faith. He's no, he's not, you know, really sincere. And even when he has passed on the baton, so to speak, to his daughter, Sarah Jakes, people are saying, were upset about that and saying she too is false. And they went on and on. One woman, it was Jezebel, like when I was listening to that sort of a sermon, when she tore his character to shreds, not reputation. She tore the man of God's character to shreds. I can't even repeat some of the things that she said about him. If he heard it, he probably would bawl. It said, he says, he knows that the Bible says persecution will come. The godly shall suffer persecution. But why? That seemed to go beyond it. It was awful. I could not even complete listening to what she had to say. And a number of women suddenly having dreams about him straying and doing this negatively. Listen to me. All right. What are the things I'm going to encourage people to do? If you hear the Bible says, do not despise prophecy, but test every spirit. One of the ways that I've noticed with God, if somebody has strayed, he sends somebody to warn you and to tell you. If he's going to punish you and get rid of you, he will tell you. He always sends somebody. He's not scandalous. He's not a propagandizing, uh, propag he doesn't spread propaganda, sorry. I don't want to make up a word when I go so propaganda. He's not mix up and blender. Trust me, he's not fearful of you. So he will come to the individual through a prophet or so, or tell the individual himself. So if he, I'm sure that whatever little weaknesses a man has, God is working on him. Pray for him. Pray for him. That's all you can do. Follow me on TikTok and so